Good morning! And yes, I have some crazy hair today. And the light is right beside me. So, like I told you, today's going to be a lazy day. So we're getting a lazy start, but we're not having a lazy breakfast. Let me show you what we got. Andrea got up bright and early and made some eggs, some pan-fried biscuits and bacon. And we're going to be enjoying that apple butter that we picked up the other day at the orchard. So we're actually trying to figure out what we're going to do for the day. We get, we think we got a plan, but we're just not sure yet. We're still pondering ideas because at the end of the night, I've got to travel to my sister's house for work this week. Uh, Andrew will be traveling behind me tomorrow, and we'll be back together tomorrow. So, But I think we're going to start a new section to this little vlog series. It's going to be called The Saying of the Weekend. We're basically, we'll be overhearing other people talking and everything, and we're just going to, whatever is the best saying, we're going to tell you about it and see if it makes you laugh as much as it makes us laugh. And I heard this one last night when I was leaving the showers, coming back to the camper, and I, and we just brought it up again, and Andrew's like, yep, you need to put it on the video. So I'm going to put it on the video now, and we're going to start a new section. And that saying was, it was done by a boy, I'm going to say he was maybe 10, 12 years old. Uh, him and his family are up tent camping, uh, actually in a spot we were looking at tent camping at. But last night he was talking to his dad and said, Papa, what do I do with this soap? <clears throat> I guess he doesn't use soap much, but never know. And it just reminded me there's more to it. It was, Papa, what do I do with the soap? I don't ever use soap. And that's what made it funny. Yeah, I ruined that joke. Andrea started filming, so I figured, oh, I better take mine too. So here's our camper spot. We got our picnic table, our chairs with our burn ring, and the dog's cool pad. Got a grill over here. Got King Candy and the big rolling turd here. And Luxo. Here we have water and electric, uh, 30 amp and 50 amp service. Andrew just taught me something. Didn't know the sign was here, even though we not, we are at Fort Hamby. But here is a little marker telling you what it's about and the actual battle. Let's see here. If I can get it around there. Underneath that tree right there, it says the battle was an eighth of a mile that way. But Fort Hamby was basically the building where a gang of confederate and union soldiers grouped together at the end of the war and basically went out and terrorized people i mean it's basically what it was they they were basically a gang and it came down to they terrorized the wrong people they came back here got overtaken by it was confederate uh, colonel washington sharp led a posse against them ran them all out burned fort hamby down and killed everyone here except for the leader who only went by the name wade he got away it was never heard of again so a little bit of history here while we're staying here camping we sat around and we threw out a couple ideas and we basically came to agreement why not go for another state park pilot mountain state park is roughly an hour an hour and 15 minutes from where we were staying it's back going east, but I mean, we didn't really have much to do today, so we're like, okay, if we drive out here, spend a little bit of time out there, and then drive back, it'd be roughly about three, three and a half hours. So that's what our plan is right now. The thing that we didn't plan for was the fact that it's another part that looks like it's out in the middle of nowhere. So I was just talking about, okay, what are we gonna do for lunch? Are we gonna do snacks at some time, or are we gonna just do an early supper? So basically, that leads us to another day of trying to figure out what we're going to do since it was supposedly a lazy day that we didn't make any plans for. Alright, we're here at Pilot Mountain State Park. We're kind of confused because the sign out here just said that the parking lot was full, which is weird. But also, we did find out there was a festival here today, so that actually might be what it is. But we're going to find out and see if we're even able to find a parking space now. And we have made it down to the Yakin River Bean Shoals access of the Pilot Mountain State Park. 
here's the thing everybody decided to go play up on the mountain today so the park up there was completely full parking lots filled so it was like okay you got a river access that is part of the state park it's just another way out here no real clear direction how to get out here so we spent the last i'd say half hour looking for it and we finally found it went inside got about 100 yards in and a big sign says three creek crossings will be made before you get to the park how are you supposed to know that that's not clearly defined on any of the maps or say anything about it so if we would have had the turd it wouldn't have been a big deal but we've got king candy so it's a little bit harder to deal with so guess our day of laziness has turned into this and we're not sure what to do now all right so i'm back in my seat and we're back at the campground i'm actually got some coals warming up we're going to do some late lunch early dinner um angus beef hot dogs with some baked beans we've already done dessert which was a peanut buttery snickers swirl master blaster from sonic i think that's what it's called so trying to relax a little bit for i'm gonna be heading out of here here in a little bit but it's nice and quiet now no one's here so pretty nice campground definitely the bathhouses are a whole lot better than a lot of the ones we've been to but the way that the drive i'm gonna say driveways the way that the road that you got to drive around is it's kind of annoying because it's all one way so Basically, you really got to go way out of your way just to get to where you need to be. So that's not too, I'm not too, not too keen on that. So, But overall, it's a pretty nice campground, and we'll be telling you about that in another video. Plans have changed a little bit. I'm sticking around tonight. Uh, it's about an hour and a half drive to where I've got to be. So I decided, well, why not just stick around here? So right now, we're actually driving around in North Wilkesboro and Wilkesboro to see what we can get into and actually do a little car browsing don't know why but i just feel like it i was thinking about it earlier today when i was at, when we were at pilot mountain state park and was saying that yeah we wish we had the turd that y'all probably don't understand why we call it the big rolling turd so here's a short and sweet answer of it yes this is our big rolling turd but it's ours if you ever saw the movie rv with robin williams there they rented a big huge class a uh motorhome to go on a vacation well by the time that it went through all the headaches breakdowns and everything they called it the big rolling turd but in the end they loved that thing so much and that's what this thing is it's been a headache since we bought it but we still love it so this is our big rolling turd well we found out that we haven't missed much in Wilkesboro. Traveled around, drove around North Wilkesboro and regular Wilkesboro uh, for a little bit. Then we went by Sonic. We got a little snacky, so we went by there, got a couple snacks, and I had to get a cherry lime. Had to get one. So we've come back here. I'm going to take my shower. I was going to take my shower. Andrea was nice enough to make me some sleepy time tea. So that way I can hopefully get to bed pretty early tonight since I'm about to get up somewhere around 5 a.m to head into mcguire so um it's been a fun weekend we got a lot done we got grandfather mountain we got pilot mountain i guess mount jefferson um elk knob new river. new river which definitely will be going back to new river so and we got another section of the blue ridge parkway completed so one more section to go and that's going to be next weekend when we're staying at what's the name of the campground? Lake Powhatan. Lake Powhatan, over in Pisgah National Forest. It's right outside of Asheville. It's right outside of Asheville. So when we go in there next Thursday, and we'll be finishing up the Blue Ridge Parkway and also going to Gorges National uh, Gorges State Park. So definitely more fun next weekend. But thanks for joining us.